safety updates are happening at Sugar Mill Elementary School after a car hit and killed a student while on her way to school. West 2's Volusia County reporter Pamela Combe explains this comes after parents demanded change. FPL workers were hard at work Thursday pushing back some power lines right outside Sugar Mill Elementary in Port Orange. This is also the city can add a turning lane right outside the school. And so the city and the new developer are going to take care of that piece. That gets more cars off the road. Greg Turquetta with Volusia County Schools says this is all part of a series of projects the district is working on. These speed bumps were just added in Thursday in hopes it will help slow down the parents coming in and out of the school. The changes are being made after a car hit and killed a fourth grade student while on her way to school in May. After the fatality that happened here, we do not want to have anything like that happen at any school. Uh, but when it does happen, you have to look top to bottom and see what you can do better. Turquetta says the district will be adding speed limit signs and changing the traffic flow when parents drop kids off. They've also cut down several trees at the front of the school to increase driver's visibility. They'll also get messages out to parents so they're extra vigilant. We can put in as many deterrents as we want, but when you drop your child off at school, you have to be, have your head on a swivel, right? I mean, kids are on foot, they're on bikes. We cannot be on devices. We have to be solely focused on getting in, getting out, and being efficient. The district is also working with the City of Port Orange, the Police Department, and the Volusia County Sheriff's Office to make some other changes. The Port Orange Mayor tells us they've reassigned a community service officer to Sugar Mill to help direct traffic the upcoming school year. Reporting in Port Orange, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. Several agencies in the district will soon host a community meeting so parents are up to date on all of the changes to the school.